Hello everyone. Hope everybody's having a great day. This is Winter Phoenix and today we're going to be playing some more Stardew Valley. We're gonna just jump right into it. So last time we did a little mining. Um, found a couple things that we needed. What are we doing on green beans? None. Okay, so we'll keep that one. And I'm gonna turn the volume down just a tiny bit. I don't want the music uh, playing over me. Well, I guess it would be. It just sounds really loud on my headphones. I think this one's perfected, but I don't know. Some of, like, the computer games are perfected. My phone one, it just, I guess it depends on how loud I turn it up. I also want to thank each and every one of you all for supporting me, all my viewers and my subscribers. You guys are awesome. I used a little bit for our tree tapper, and we got to get one more tree tapper, too. So. so we have neutral look, so I'm probably not going to go mining today. Um, we'll just get the wood we need for the uh, coop and for our other tapper. Looks like we have enough, but um, I'll just finish cutting this down since we already started. Looks like all of our energy is gone already too. It's okay, we have um, onions and all that kind of stuff, so we will be all right. I think that's cute. You can hear the little dog's tail thumping on the ground. All right, we are going to do a bit of fishing, I think, for um, 
extra money. Um, Along the way, I do like them for preserves, and I also like them for energy, so. Uh, I believe tomorrow is Pam's birthday in the game. she really likes beer but I don't want to spend because Shane's birthday's on the 20th too. Hang on, let me look here. I'm looking it up here. Yeah, so Pam's birthday's on the 18th and Shane's is on the 20th and Pam likes parsnips so I guess we'll give her a parsnip. Shane likes beer, pizza, hot peppers, chili peppers. We don't have any of those things until later. So we'll probably give Pam a parsnip and we'll buy Shane a beer. Alright, let's do a little fishing. Sorry, I keep um, hitting the wrong button because it's a different controller than the Switch controller. while we're at it. Never know what kind of goodies are in there. There's like artifacts and sometimes prismatic shards if it's a really good day. Ancient seeds, all kinds of stuff. We got a geode. Crap. It's okay, I have food. Got to eat before I recast it, but we are gonna be just fine. A perfect fishy catch. Very nice. Let's eat something before I forget again. Let's do the onions. Yes. a look here after we're finished fishing and see what kind of fish we need for spring for the community center um, so that way you know on a rainy day and a sunny day hopefully we'll have at least one more rainy day um, before the end of spring oh was that largemouth bass a... okay Yeah, okay, so we got two of them. Perfect. That's great. Oh, sorry, smacked my computer. I'm trying to bring my hand down. I had to rub my eye. Smacked my computer. How rude. My, like, catchphrase for my channel is going to be how rude. <laughs> so I say how rude quite often. It'll be Winter Phoenix, how rude. <laughs> That'd be funny. 
nor rude. That's another thing I say. Yeah, I just figured we'd go fishing and try to get some money because we need to get 4,000 Gs for a chicken mm -hmm. coop. I've never gone this late without getting a chicken coop besides, like, maybe the first couple times I played. Slacking in my, my let's play. I have no more room for fish. Okay, we'll get rid of the geode if we have to. Uh oh, and of course we get a chest too. We will figure it out. I'll get rid of the algae too. I do like having fish bait. Just seeing what else we can build too, because it'd be nice to be able to build a crab pot, but my fishing level isn't high enough. And see, that's another thing. I usually have my fishing level pretty high around this time. So maybe we'll just go fishing tomorrow too and see if we can get our fishing levels up. I've already given Carolyn two gifts this week, so I can't give her any more. Let's see what else we got. Tuna, tilapia, snapper. I know you can buy crab pots from Willy, but they're just so expensive. Got two out of that one, that's um, unusual until you have like a higher foraging level. Here's Carolyn, we'll at least talk to her. Talking brings up friendship levels. Hi there, do you have everything you need for your farm? Not yet, we're working on getting chickens and cows and at some point we'll need to get an ostrich. Here's Evelyn. I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. I'll give her a dandelion. Daffodil, sorry. Oh my, it looks wonderful. Thank you for being so kind. Daffodil, dandelion, tomato, tomato. The forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Um, no. I need to upgrade my axe. There's Willie. Hi, Willie. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Checking to see if we had any more community center anything yet. Hi, Marnie. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Very nice. I know a lot of the um, town folks also don't like salmon berries, so do not give salmon berries to town folks. I'm just going to continue foraging too, um, because we don't have much energy and it doesn't hurt to have a lot of resources on hand. I guess I might have leveled up on foraging since I'm getting two salmon berries per bush now. This is amazing because we're going to have 
This is gonna be a lot of money in preserves later. It'll be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna run up to our farm and put some stuff away so we can continue foraging. Hopefully we can sell a fish or two. Um, I may have to keep the largemouth bass if we don't have any. Um, because there is a villager who requests it later. Alright, let's get this tapper made. Our last tapper. So we are going to need a pointy leafed tree. This one here. Alright, there's all of our tappers. We just gotta be careful not to chop those tree down, trees down. Okay, yeah, I didn't have a large mouth bass. Let's put our wood away now that we have enough for the chicken coop. We'll put that away, that away. I'm gonna pull out my scythe in case we get stuck somewhere we can get out. We're just going to continue foraging salmon berries. Um, and then tomorrow will just be a full day of fishing. So we can try to get our fishing levels up. Yep. All right. And it doesn't hurt to have a bunch of fiber either, especially after you get Carolyn's tea sapling recipe. There's a dandelion. Called that one, right? Sometimes I get things a little confused in games, like what they're called. I do that in real life too. I'll be like, oh, the name of that street's that, and it's not. <laughs> That's just how I am. Yay, bunch of onions. We'll use those tomorrow for fishing. And then hopefully we're not penalized too much tomorrow for me running our energy so low today. But it's okay. Plenty to eat to keep our stamina up tomorrow if it does happen. I thought I saw an onion there. Yay, I'm super excited. We got a whole bunch of salmon berries. That'll be very nice. Very nice. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go put this stuff away and we'll call it a day and I will do one more day. Wrong button again, sorry. Okay, 
so tomorrow we'll need this and this and that can be put away. Okay, leveled up in foraging, that's really good. Weather, it will rain, awesome, so I'm going to need to look up and see what kind of fish we're going to need to get in spring. Ah, oh, refreshing rain, a farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. Use this to your advantage. Very nice. Wrong button. It is also Pam's birthday today, so we'll give her a parsnip. Doesn't look like we took a- oh yeah, because we leveled up on foraging. When you level up, you don't take an energy hit. So we leveled up in foraging, so that's good. Oh, a parsnip, I was like, what was I thinking of? Um, a parsnip for Pam. We'll grab our hoe. We haven't been digging up worms like we need to be to get uh, artifacts. I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Blah, I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. How rude. Let's see, it's How rude. <laughs> Came over to give you your birthday present. Foraging, and then we're gonna go fish in the river. Mm -hmm. Get the walleye tonight. 
or not tonight, tomorrow, and the um, eel. We will try. fish here and then we'll go over by Leah's place. We'll change the scenery. Um, I think they have different fish over there too. So it looks like our fishing bar increased. So it definitely looks like we did uh, upgrade our fishing level today. Um, Leah likes driftwood if you give it to her for a gift, I do believe. Mm -hmm. I've never personally tried it, but I've heard. Because she likes doing all those like artsy craftsy kind of things. You give her wood, mm -hmm. she'll try to create some art with it, I think. Is the theory <laughs> to her liking that, I don't know. A oh, sunfish. There's a lot of detail if you look around, like on the screen right now, there's like a butterfly on the screen. So Leah's windmills going. Um, the seaweed in the water is moving. Maybe that chest if I hit the button too hard. trash. I don't like giving Leah driftwood, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm going to keep that for Sam. And the iron, I can always go get iron. Um, the strange doll we can donate to the museum. I believe there's only one other way to get that uh, doll, and that's through one of the notes that Krobus, uh, well, Krobus doesn't give it to you. He gives you a magnifying glass, which allows you to start finding the notes and read them.
And I have uh, completed the museum before. Sorry, Lewis. I was trying to get out of his way, and then I was still in his way anyway. Alright, let's go see what kind of fish we can sell. I think we already have the large mouth, or the small mouth bass, so I think we can um, sell those, but we'll find out. Yep, I already have one. No sunfish. Keep that. I just feel kind of odd with those in there. Um, we'll just put them in here. Sell this. Oh. This and those. And don't even bother trying to fish in your um, ponds here that you just get trash. That's it. Like nothing exciting. We'll do a little more fishing at the ocean, and then we'll probably call it an episode. Sorry, Elliot. Cut him off. It's funny how Willie just kind of barely sticks his rod in the water. Must have a hell of a rod. Be able to catch fish that close to shore, you know. No herring? I always think of uh, Monty Python and Holy Grail. You must cut down the tallest, thickest tree with. A herring! I don't know the word herring, I'm like, oh my goodness. When they change their mind, we want a shrubbery! <laughs> They're in a forest, they're full of shrubbery. Like, go, go pull a bush out. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. That really cracks me up. I'm gonna call it an episode, guys. Let us get back home, sell some of our fish. And I hope you guys are enjoying my videos as much as I am enjoying playing the games for you guys. Appreciate you checking into it and checking out my channel and my videos and episodes and all that it means a lot to me. Appreciate each and every one of you, viewers and subscribers.
right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you have a great day and have an awesome night, and I'll see you guys later. Awesome. Looks like we did level up on fishing.